What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video we're going to talk a bit about how you can make raw gold, literally shuffling gold without doing any farming whatsoever and that's due to some of the changes with the war within pre-patch. Now this video is first going to be seen by the people on the VIP discord which is pretty much like a Patreon, but instead everything happens on a Discord server. So those guys, they get to watch all my YouTube videos before they go public on YouTube, uh, which means that they will be able to take advantage of this before anyone else. But also joining the VIP Discord, not only do you support me as a content creator, you get to watch all my YouTube videos before they go public, but you also get access to exclusive spreadsheets, investments, gold tips, and much more. Now, most of the people on the VIP Discord also have the 0 to 10 million gold guide, as that's a great way to start out. It's currently at 200 pages plus, and I update it constantly whenever there's a new patch or a new expansion. It features the best tactics and methods that I personally use in order to achieve multiple gold caps. So don't forget to use the discount code STUDENT to acquire that for 50% off. And you can find it linked in the description together with the VIP Discord. Now, what we're going to talk about today is uh, item scaling. If you weren't aware, whenever we get a pre-patch, typically Blizzard scales up the item level of items. Meaning that you can vendor items for a lot of gold. Because it's not only the weapon damage, the, uh, the stats on the weapons that goes up also the vendor price so there's a lot of farms that you can do right now which will literally make you like 20 to 25 thousand gold raw just from looting mobs and vendoring everything that you're getting so i got videos coming on that that you should already be able to see on the vip discord but they will come on youtube really really soon so make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel if you want to see that but how you can utilize this without doing anything uh, farming related is go on the auction house, search for, let's say, green items, uh, one-handed axes, for instance, and then you sort it by item level, and then you go to something like, let's say this one, the Dockyard's Axe of the Perilous. It's 24 gold to purchase, but it's going to vendor for 70 gold, so... By spending 24 gold on this one, I will be able to, as you can see, vendor this bad boy for 75 gold. So there's a lot of gold to be made with this. But you got to be careful, though. I do say that you got to tread carefully because the tooltip is not always accurate. If I go to, for instance, uh, let's say plate items, right? Plate armor and take a look at some of those cheap high item level uh, uh, armors if i scroll down until we find something that you can vendor for more than the uh the purchase price for instance uh looking at let's see down here you have a couple of items like uh for instance these boots it's 10 gold to purchase these boots and uh, they will be able to sell for uh how much was it according to the add-on uh, 39 gold because you're item level 186. Now, if you look at this to 186, buying these for 10 gold, and sometimes the tooltip is wrong on them, you can see there are going to be 20 gold right now. So, I bought some belts earlier where I didn't look at the tooltip at all, and then I got kind of burned. I mean, I didn't lose a lot of gold, but it said that the items would vendor for like 20 gold. I paid 5 gold for them, and they vendored for less than I posted them for. So, if I scroll, um, scroll down to uh we'll see if we can find something like this actually right now i can't can't find an example of uh of something that's completely broken maybe these 15 gold to buy sell price 37 to the vendor if i hover above them uh right here you can see that their uh, item level 32 it will vendor for 37 gold right i buy these 15 gold take them out of the mailbox they're one silver and 80 copper so you just gotta make you just gotta check the item level if they're low item level like like these are item level 22 they're not gonna vendor for uh, insane amounts of gold so it's safer uh, in my opinion to look for uh weapons because weapons are uh they're also vendoring for more gold so it's just less clicks to make the same amount of gold so it's way 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 safer to just search for uh weapons but 
you can obviously make a lot of gold with armor items as well, by all means, but it's just, you got to do a lot of work, right? So lots of gold to be made with this, and you got to do it fast, because nobody in the right mind will post an item for less than vendor price, um, because you'll get the, the warning, like you're about to sell this for less than the vendor price. The reason why there's so many items on the auction house is because people posted these items on the auction house before the pre-patch, right? So they scaled up during the pre-patch uh, to the point where now people are losing gold, selling them. They could have vendored them for, uh, for more. So uh, yeah, just a tip, but there's plenty of stuff like this there's a lot of cool thing that the pre-patch did to the game. There were a lot of interesting ways to make gold. So just stay tuned to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out the VIP Discord together with the Zero to 10 million gold guide. And I will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.